Hello friends, as a recent owner of an externally assisted red glow device, I would like to share the wow factor associated with this and also some salient points about what is coaxial and oblique illumination. Now microscopes that offer both the stereoaxial and oblique illumination generally have two sources of illumination. Microscopes like the Zeiss Opmi 1FR have a single illumination source with an offset of about 2 degrees. Now this will help to combine both oblique and coaxial illumination. The Zeiss Lumera 300 which I possess has two sources of illumination, one for providing coaxial and the other provides an oblique offset from 2 to 6 degrees. There is an incomplete overlap however and there is a shutter in a form of a knob that enables you to blend the amount of coaxial and oblique illumination seen. In spite of this, in this microscope the coaxial illumination with the oblique light cut off completely is far from satisfactory. In order to appreciate the brilliance of true stereo coaxial illumination one has to invest in a high-end microscope like a Zeiss Lumera 700 or any such equivalent. There are many such in the market. Well, the alternative if you don't have one is to get an externally mounted illumination system to provide the excellent red glow. The OmniGlow is a first of its kind. Today there are many competitive products with equally competitive pricing that most can afford. And is it really worth it? I definitely believe so because sharing my experience with one such product let me show you when to use the coaxial and oblique illumination in order to maximize your surgical performance. Now this is a patient who is getting operated for cataract. He's got a grade 2 cataract. This is the combined coaxial and oblique illumination that I can get from my Lumera 300. Now when I switch on to the external device, now you can see the external device being switched on, there is a market improvement in the visibility and the red glow. What I have done is I've completely switched off the operating microscope light. I'm working only with the external LED source that provides an excellent red glow. The advantage of having such a red glow is that it makes the performance of Capsulorexis much more easy because it increases or enhances the visibility of the tearing edge of the rexis margin. Against the brilliant red glow that is afforded by the instrument. In addition, when we perform cortical cleavage hydrodissection, you can see the fluid wave clearly passing, which may not be possible when you do not have a system which does not provide a good red glow. However, with progressive hydrodissection, what happens is that the red glow progressively diminishes. it has been recommended that while performing the uh, nucleus disassembly it is better to have a combination of coaxial and oblique illuminations. This is because when you have a oblique illumination it provides slight shadows and additional effects which enables the 3D visualization of the nucleus fragment much better than if you were simply working only with the coaxial illumination and that is the reason why the initial microscopes with single illumination had only a two degree offset that provided both coaxial and oblique illumination. Now let's look at another example when we are performing the direct phaco chop using the coaxial illumination we find that although it's possible to chop the nucleus the visibility is not greatly enhanced and this is why according to Dr. David Chang he emphasizes the need of a good oblique illumination. Oblique illumination tends to throw small shadows around objects and these shadows will increase the perception of both depth as well as contrast. Therefore, during trenching and during nucleus removal, it's much better to switch over to the oblique illumination which will give us a better sense of contrast and a better sense of depth in handling these small nuclear fragments. So both types of illumination, namely the coaxial or the stereocoaxial as well as the oblique illumination that is seen in these microscopes have to be used at the right moment in the right time in order to bring out their best effects so that we can carry out the procedure of phaco emulsification pretty smoothly. 
Well, this case is not about nucleus management, it's about the glow, so let's finish off with the nucleus management. At the end of the nucleus disassembly, I'm left with just cortex, and you can see how poor the visibility of the cortex is, although I was managing with this kind of visibility till now. Now, turning on the external red glow instrument, you can see that there is a marked a dramatic improvement in the visibility of the cortical fibers. Now this increased visibility is definitely going to help you to clean up the cortex in a much much better fashion than you could do without it. So cortical aspiration is done under very good visibility against the red glow. Well, you know that in an external source, when you switch it on, the entire yellow color of the LEDs, you can have white or yellow LEDs. This instrument of mine has yellow LED lights. So the entire field becomes yellow. This will not happen if you have a good high-end operating microscope that provides stereocoaxial illumination. Even the tiny fibers of cortex can be removed accidentally catch the posterior capsule and I can clearly see the radiating lines. The implantation of the intraocular lens is also greatly aided by an enhanced red glow system. You're able to see the leading portion of the eye oil clearing the edge of the capsular axis easily and you can also see the trailing portion of the eye oil clearly clearing the edge of the capsular axis to go and flop into the capsular bag. So, for those of us who do not have the top-end microscope system that gives stereocoaxiality, I think it's a very good idea to get an external device which will enhance the red glow. And although enhanced red glow is probably not suitable for all steps in the procedure, it definitely enhances the performance of the capsular rexes. It definitely improves the cortical aspiration and the intraocular lens implantation. And of course, it makes surgery a real pleasure to perform. Thank you for your attention.